High traders in a very low volatility week, the S&P 500 lost just 0.1% and volatility is expected to remain low until Trump will come into office on Friday. The markets will be closed on Monday due to the Martin Luther King Day. We are in the quarterly earning report period, therefore the only volatility we can expect is from company with earning reports. Some interesting phenomena to be noticed in a very massive purchase of options from investors who are concerned from a market crash. Now the big question of course is are they right? Do they have reason to be concerned? Well I guess we will find that in the next few weeks. Let's take a technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500 formation, I can see the resistance here at the highs. Remember, the Dow Jones is there, did not touch yet the 20,000 points, very big resistance area. And take a good look at the line as the 2200, because I do expect the market to retest this line soon. Well, soon in the next few weeks at least. So uh, I expect it to be retested. Uh, so far, it's holding to the highs. Let's take a look at uh, last week picks. My first pick last week was FL, which is doing good. It's down by 1%, so I did not reach my target first. I'm still waiting for it to reach the 3% target. Hope for some continuation in FL. My second pick last week was SLB long over 87, which did, did not trigger, so we do not have a trade in SLB. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is uh, Clack Long over $81.69, uh, a chip manufacturer in the US, semiconductors industry, very nice uptrend, very nice momentum coming from Friday. So Clack Long is my first pick. My second pick for the week is DLPH Long over $72.12, a producer of components for the car industry in the UK and a very nice technical formation, doesn't come much better than that as you can see, an inverse head and shoulder formation and I hope uh, DLPH to move over the resistance over there. So I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.